Hi everybody, my name is Naomi and I run Dr. Howe's Science Wows and you are very welcome to my science workshop today and I'm delighted to be part of your Science Week celebrations in Donegal and they're organised by the Donegal Library Service. I think you'll agree under the current circumstances they've done a fantastic job and they have a great lineup of events. Now, today's experiment has been inspired by these guys, bees. We all know how important trees and plants are to our lives and our future and the future of our planet. They help clean our air, they provide us with food and they provide places for other insects and animals to live. But did you know that insects are very important to trees and plants because they pollinate them. They help to transfer pollen from one plant or tree to another and that helps them produce seeds so that they can make more plants and more trees and keep the future of our planet safe and healthy. So here's what we need for this experiment. We need a plate and some coloured paper or card. Then we need a pen, a yellow balloon and some tissue paper. We also need a scissors and some tape. And finally, we need something woolly like a scarf or a jumper. Or you could use your hair and you'll find out how in a few minutes. So first, we're going to turn our plate into a flower, like this. We're going to use the coloured paper as petals. So draw some petal shapes onto your paper, like this. And then just cut them out, like this. Okay, now I have my petals. Let's tidy up a little bit. That's better. Okay, I'm going to add the petals onto the edge of my plate with tape. I'm going to make it look like a flower full of petals. And there we go. Now our plate looks like a flower. All we need to do is put some pollen in. And that's where our tissue comes in. So just pick little bits off your tissue and drop them into the centre of the plate like that. Pollen in the flower. All we need now is our bee. And that's where our yellow balloon comes in. You want to blow up the balloon and then decorate it with the pen so it looks like a bee. A little bit like this. See, I've turned my balloon into a kind of a bee. It's got little wings on the back, it's got his black stripes, and he's got this thing here. It's called his proboscis. It's a straw like mouth that he uses to suck up nectar when he's visiting the plants. Now it's time for our bee to visit our flower. But before he does, we've one more thing we want to do. We want to charge up our bee with static electricity and that's where my woolly scarf comes in. So to charge the balloon, you can rub it on your hair or on something woolly like my scarf here. So give the balloon a good rub on your woolly scarf or on your hair to charge it full of static electricity. Time for the bee to visit the plant. So when he comes close, oh, look at that. He picks up all that pollen and then when he goes to the next flower, he can transport the pollen over to the flower so it can make new seeds. So that's an experiment on static electricity, but static electricity really does help bees pick up pollen when they come near flowers. As the bees travel through the air, they build up a static charge on their bodies because they lose tiny little particles called electrons that gives them a positive charge. When they come near to the flower, that positive charge, that static electricity, attracts the very light pollen to the bee, so it sticks to him. And then he's able to travel on to the next flower. So static electricity really does help bees and flowers with pollination. 
Isn't nature amazing? I really hope you enjoyed that experiment. Why not check out the other events for Science Week organised by Donegal Library Services? You can find out more on their website, donegallibraries.ie, or follow them on Facebook and Twitter. Slán!